Hey bud, how's it going? If you're new to the channel, welcome. Take a seat. And if you're coming back, Percy, I understand why you don't trust atoms. They make up everything. Welcome back to another movie commentary reaction. My name is Sam. Steph. And we're the movie buds. Today I'm showing Sam Ratatouille. Yeah, I don't know how I missed this one. Mm. I just kind of did. It's like apparently to a lot of people the biggest best pixar movie i've heard i definitely rated it it's definitely a good one i don't know if i'd say it's the best but that's it i haven't watched it in like several years so give another look although each country dispute this the best food in the world is made in france <sighs> okay go off babe the best food in france is made in paris I'm sure every local of every city thinks the same thing yes. about their food <laughs> yeah i know Auguste gusto the youngest chef to achieve a five-star rating gusto's cookbook climbed to the top of the bestseller list man of the people amusing title i on the other hand don't think anyone can do it i would really love if everyone or anyone could cook, but I've definitely met people who seem to be afraid of cooking. Oh, uh, for me, it stresses me out. Sure. I can, I know I can cook, but I just find the process fundamentally anxiety inducing. I said, you can cook. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's right. This is me. Great still frame. I need to rethink my life a little bit. I'm a rat. Life is hard. Yeah, so I didn't know that Patton Oswalt was the star of this movie. That would have made a huge difference in me watching it. I have a highly developed sense of taste and smell. Vanilla bean, small twist of lemon. A gourmet. You have a gift. My brother, easily impressed. I mean, He's supportive. Yeah. So what? My dad, never impressed. What's wrong with having highly developed senses? You ruined perfectly good food. Don't eat that! Turns out that funny smell was rat poison. Ah. Yes. So it's definitely not perfectly good. Suddenly didn't think my talent was useless. I was feeling pretty good till dad gave me a job. Uh-huh. Well, ain't that the way? Poison checker. I mean, it's a very useful thing, though, if nobody else can check. Oh, for sure. But it's, I do like how they illustrate kind of the difference between you got a gift and you get to use it for something that's fulfilling and you have a gift, so get a job with that gift. <laughs> well, it made my dad proud. You've helped a noble cause. Noble? We're thieves, Dad. I don't know. See scavengers. Yeah, and it seems kind of noble to me. What we're stealing is garbage. It isn't stealing if no one wants it. I agree. Agreed. Let's just say we have different points of view. Oh, I agree with Dad. Mm, yeah, it's all stealing. If you are what you eat, I only want to eat the good stuff. Food is fuel. Now shut up and eat your garbage. <laughs> Look, there is a halfway point. Yeah. Why not steal the good stuff in the kitchen? Nothing is poison. That's a pretty good point. Stay out of the kitchen. It's dangerous. He's not wrong about that. Though. Yeah, it's a fair point. I know I'm supposed to hate humans, but they don't just survive. They create. Look at what they do with food. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely agree with wanting to make your food mm. great. Yes. But there is a middle ground. For sure. Good food is like music you can taste. You need only to stop and savor it. This is pretty cool. How they depict taste. Uh-huh. Each flavor was totally unique. That's cool. It's just a giant food nerd. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Combine one flavor with another and something new was created. <laughs> <laughs> Most deaf. Uh, run. I had a secret life. See, now you're a thief. <laughs> the only one who knew about it was Emil. I found a mushroom. Help me find a good place to put this. I mean, how long is it going to last for? Wouldn't you want to just start preparing it? He doesn't understand me, but I can be myself around him. Aging it to perfection. <laughs> mushroom. They just get dry. Yeah. <laughs> you found cheese? Tom de Chevre de Pay! You know what? I love cooking, mm. and I love experimenting with cooking. That would go beautifully with my mushroom! And, and this rosemary! But I do not relate to this level. This is the real gourmet passion. Mm. We, we gotta cook this. How we cook this is the real question. Well, I'd like to think you would be able to at least start a small fire. <laughs> the rats, oh. they're evolving. <laughs> yeah. So smoking is mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Sure. That storm's getting closer. Maybe we we shouldn't be so yeah yeah fair <laughs> <laughs> he held the mushroom and it's well cooked now you gotta taste this it's got this kind of <laughs> zap kind of taste what would you call that flavor lightning -y. lightning -y. absolutely it's electric tastes like burnt ozone <laughs> 
<laughs> we gotta do that again! When the next storm comes, we'll go up on the roof. Yeah, kinda hard to repeat. Even just as a regular person with a regular kitchen. I know what this needs! Saffron! Why do I get the feeling it's, it's in, in the, the kitchen. kitchen? Oh, this poor little old lady. Uh, she won't even notice. <laughs> yeah, if she doesn't notice, everything will be fine. <laughs> yeah. If she notices. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna wake up. She turns on the cooking channel, boom. She never wakes up. It is pretty funny. Mm -hmm. My normal was the same. I turned the TV off yeah. and he'd be like, turn that back on. Okay. Turn it back on. Fall asleep. Fall asleep. <laughs> Who's Gusto? The greatest chef in the world wrote this cookbook. You read? <laughs> Educated. <laughs> Disgusting. Filthy rats. Does dad know? You could fill a book with things dad doesn't know, which is why I read. Also, our secret. I don't like secrets. I can imagine he'd have trouble with secrets, too. Yeah. It's like you're involving me in crime, and I let you. Why do I let you? You're not very bright. He's just a sweet guy. <laughs> hey, that's Gusto! You must be imaginative. Strong-hearted. I don't know about strong-hearted, but imagine it is. <laughs> sure. Don't let anyone define your limits because of where you come from. Well, I guess, you know, be able to overcome your nerves. Anyone can cook, only the fearless can be great. Is that how you could describe strong-hearted? Yeah, but what you, what's on the line? I don't know. I get nervous <laughs> when I cook. I you, need a strong heart. <laughs> you do. What is about it that makes you nervous? That it's going to go wrong, and the, then I'm going to waste the stuff, and there'll be all this mess, and I'll have to start Okay. all over again I'm just trying to make fucking lunch <laughs> so you're worried about wasting the food and then also potentially wasting time having to clean up and not even getting a good meal yeah I know it's an irrational fear for the most part mm -hmm. but it spirals very easily okay I can do it when I know I have to but it does take yeah a bit of concentrated effort to get through it and stay calm <laughs> okay pure poetry but it was not to last <laughs> what did he die after escaping with you by Anton Ego Gusto's restaurant lost one of his five stars oh so close enough. Died, lost a star. Same thing. Yeah, well. The broken hearted chef died shortly afterwards, which meant the loss of another star. So, in this case, very much the same thing. Yes. <laughs> Gusto is dead? Yeah. Ah! Oh, don't have a heart attack. Please don't have a heart attack, old lady. No, she's just gonna pull out the blicky. Ah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fucking. What? I know! How did pulling the trigger on her shotgun open the umbrella? Anyway, I started blasting. Bah, bah. I just love that she went, I'm gonna just unleash hell. The fact that she thinks it's worth destroying her house for? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, this uh, movie has more realistic reload necessity than most action movies. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yeah, maybe you shouldn't have been firing a shotgun in your house. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it was worth destroying your house to catch these rats. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> See, that was the moment where she had a heart attack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The book. And then they would have had a nice meal to last oh. for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This lady just decided to go to war with yes. the, what, like two rats in her kitchen. She remembers World War II <laughs> as she stayed prepared. <laughs> Where's Remy? Right here, Remy! Yeah. Dickhead. Probably not worth it. Nah. Probably could have found that book somewhere else. Indeed. Boss side here is, is functioning as a raft for him. Yep. <laughs> Oh, oh, Jesus. God damn. Why would you bother trying to kill them when they're already leaving? Yeah, at this point, what's the point? Yeah, they're going away. She's like, no, I can't let these intelligent rats escape. They pose a threat to the human race. Pretty soon they'll evolve and take over. <laughs> yeah, look, this fucker's using his hands. <laughs> Dad? Cool. So, uh, you got everyone kicked out of their home. Mm -hmm. Solid. Good job. Great start. Guessing that was the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, oh no. Immediate regret. Shit. <laughs> oh man. I've been caught in just rapid type stuff in general. Mm, yeah. That shit sucks. Oh yeah. I've never gone caught in the river yeah. rapids, but just waves as you, know, you oh, probably know. A thousand times. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I waited for a sound. A voice. Ah, uh, you were just hoping that they might turn up here. Was it worth it, bud? <laughs> well, he still got his book. Yeah. Me trying to resist sweets. <laughs> if you are hungry, go up and look around, Remy. Yeah, at this point, you're gonna have to. Why do you wait and mope? I've just lost my family, all my friends. You didn't have friends. <laughs> he Nobody. didn't like you, man. <laughs> Liked you. How do you know? You 
are an illustration. Why am I talking to you? You are lonely. Also because you're starving and delusional? Yeah. You're dead. That is no match for wishful thinking. I think it is, but yeah, it, it, okay. it is. Go up and look around. Depends on what you're wishing for, but yeah, yeah. you know, someone dying is generally going to be a problem in your plan. Mm, definitely an obstacle, <laughs> you could say. Kind of hard to get around. <laughs> Um, bud, take the food and run. Get out of view, at least. What are you doing? I'm hungry. I don't know when I'll find food again. You are better than that. He's also homeless. Yeah, this is a little different. I'm going to judge you with him, mate. Yeah. You are not the thief. Food will come, Remy, to those who love to cook. Ah, uh, that's... No. No, no one does no, it. No, most this... definitely not. I forgot about that classist <laughs> take. <laughs> Bunch of starving people all over the world who uh, strongly disagree with you there, bud. You don't have no. Oh, no. What the fuck? Someone's just getting held up? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, because they are French. Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. Do not fucking hook up with someone who just tried to shoot you. Yeah. That's a hell no. But yes. He's in power league. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gusto's? You've led me to your restaurant. It seems as though I have. Yeah, totally. That's what happened. There it is. I have led you to it. Sure. <laughs> I love even his own imagination can't lie to him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't cook very often, but I would love a kitchen like this. Yeah, you would not love to clean it, though. Oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Having worked in the like, cafes and stuff, cleaning up the kitchen after a day of work is the fucking worst. Yeah. Look who is here. And that is it, a boy. How are you, uh, Linguini? Yes. God, he really is yeah. a Linguini, isn't he? How is, uh, Renata? Y yes, Renata. Linguini means soft, right? Linguini is a type of pasta. Well, yeah, but no, does it not mean something for that pasta? Like it denotes something about it? No? Linguino is like a little tongue. A linguini is like little tongues, plural. Okay, that's... A lingua is a tongue. That makes sense. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I wish I hadn't asked. Yeah. Didn't want to know I that. I figured you probably wouldn't. She's been better. She died. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love how he was just like regretting that he had to say sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, how was that so difficult to get? I think she hoped it would help me get a job. Wow. We could file this and... We have already uh, hired him. What? Without my permission. We opinion. needed a garbage boy. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm glad it worked out. I mean, I still 100% agree with the chef's outrage there. Yeah. But, you know. If he's the boss, he's the boss. Yeah, for real. If I was heading up a restaurant or a cafe and mm. I came in and there's just some random fucking person there that someone else hired, I'd be yeah. like, who the fuck is this? Yeah. And why are they here? Oh, so I mean, even if it is a good choice to oh, hire, yeah. them it's still like if you're the head chef it has to go by you mm. every decision has to go by the head chef first That's yeah how it works. like are you gonna fuck up my kitchen yeah precisely you've read my book which one is a chef oh that guy yeah no shit biggest hat yeah that's how they rank them who is that he's nobody he is part of the kitchen he washes dishes or takes out the garbage he doesn't cook body yeah those things are still important he needs to keep the kitchen clean hygienic mm. what do i always say anyone can cook that doesn't mean that anyone should that is not stopping him oh, oh no dude what 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 yeah, he's just trying to fix it bro stop no this is terrible he's ruining the soap nobody's noticing it I Kind of love this as a story element. Yeah. How dare you so badly fuck this up? We gotta tell someone that he's that. <laughs> mm -hmm. He just falls in. See, that part I can relate yes. to. Yes. <laughs> How could you fuck this up? Yeah. How could no one notice you fucking this up? Yeah. Right. How are you gonna end up in this man's hat? <laughs> I know that much. That's what you know. <laughs> How does the rat get in the hat? <laughs> Yes, in the bake. Perfect Dude, spot. You should know better. You were just mad about someone ruining the food. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. you're going to taint the food with your goddamn sewer fur? <laughs> sewer fur? <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. This is definitely not where you want to be. Yep. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, that could have gone badly. Yeah, having caught a rat before mm. with my hand, well, with mm. a towel, but mm. my head, surprisingly soft. You was, what? What were you expecting? I don't know. I thought it'd be gamier, you know? Kind of oh. fitter, but it's so squishy. Oh, dude. Yeah. Yeah, the course yeah. is terrible. Yes, that makes sense. <laughs> Detail about that. Rats don't have a gag reflex. Oh, so yeah. it was so bad that it made him defy nature. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad that he had to evolve to yeah. make it work. <laughs> 
Yeah, what? Can't resist. You stick around. Remy, what are you waiting for? This is your chance. Might as well. Oh, he's just doing the cooking yep. from here. He's wow. He's fixing the soup. Yeah, the fact that literally no one's noticed him go this far. <laughs> they are very busy, I guess. <laughs> very taken with their work. It's believable, but I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those, I hate that this is true. Oh, yeah. Kind of situation. Oh, dude, I remember one time when I was working in the cafe, very busy with mm. 20 meals, making them all up at the one time, and I turn around, and there's just a fucking dog just staring at me. <laughs> you know, I'm like, why the fuck is there a dog in my kitchen? <gasps> oh, that's so funny. It's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> And there it is. <laughs> so someone did notice. Oh, yeah. Where is the soup? Oh, the garbage, boy. I appreciate that for him, he's just like, no, there's no rat in here. I did not allow yeah. a rat in here. You are cooking. I should have you torn and quarter. Yeah, that's fair. As soon as you messed up the soup, you needed to go talk to someone. Yeah, I guess he just didn't want to lose the job. Yeah, you're definitely going to lose the job as soon as someone finds out. Yeah, sure. No one else would fuck it up. Stop that soup. Yeah. It's going to make it to the table. Someone's going to enjoy it. No! Hey, everything's fine. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, obviously someone's just going to get the soup, enjoy it. And then mm -hmm. everyone's going to be like, wait, what, what's going on? Yeah, you can see how this is playing. Uh -huh. It doesn't make it bad. It's just, you know, it makes sense. You're fired! He wants to see the shit. Yeah, I still agree with the firing. He should remain fired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for spilling it, for fucking pouring water in it to try to fix it. <laughs> to try to fix the soup without understanding how. What did the customer say? It was a critic. Ooh. Okay. Selena Claire. She likes the soup. Someone's asking about your soup. Yeah, but he does need to save his rat skin, though. Yeah, <laughs> he's to live. <laughs> what are you playing at? <laughs> Seriously? This idiot doesn't know anything. Yeah. <laughs> he can't play at nothing. You can't fire him. Leclerc likes it. If she write a review and find out you fired the cook responsible... She makes a good point. Yes. As far as she's aware. Mm. <laughs> How can we represent Gusto if we don't uphold his most cherished belief? Anyone can cook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fair, man. Perhaps I have been a bit harsh on our garbage boy. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of how my mom pronounces stuff sometimes. She doesn't pronounce a H. Mm -hmm. Arsh. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. He has taken a bold risk. Who are we to deny him? You were escaping? Oh, yeah. Yes. Now leave. Once mm. you got the ego boost. <laughs> You should be responsible for it. It's so uncoordinated. Yeah. You will make the soup again, and I'll be paying attention. Man, I would actually love it if he just started making his garbage soup. Yeah. <laughs> Poison somebody, he tries it and dies. Yeah. Run! Shit, bail, dude. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, ow. What should I do now? Take it outside, fool. Kill it. Now? Not in the kitchen. Are you mad? Just go to a park or something. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. Take it away from here. Dispose of it. Go! See, why do you have to kill the rat if it's no longer in the restaurant? Yeah. Just it, take it outside. Just, just far away. Yeah. Far away from the restaurant so it doesn't get back, sure, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just didn't have it in me. Yeah, I just don't see the point. Also, don't want to. Yes. <laughs> oh, God, what a brutal oh, way yeah, to end man, the life, you, man. You pick the worst one possible. Are you serious? One of, I guess. What is wrong with you? Look at me like that. Yeah, there you go. You weren't the only one who's trapped. I was just trying to stay out of trouble. You're the one who was getting fancy with the spices. <laughs> <laughs> what did you throw in there? Oregano? Yeah, that fancy shit. Oregano. <laughs> yeah, nothing fancier. <sighs> oh, dude. I need this job. I've lost so many. Yeah, I believe that. I do too. Now I'm talking to a rat as if you... Huh? Have you been nodding? Yes. Yeah. You understand me? So I'm not crazy. <laughs> okay. Mm. I kind of like the idea here that he's not just straight up talking to him. Because I had a feeling that that might be the thought process. Like when I first saw the promotion for this early on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't want that. No, no. The communication is very much one way. Yeah. Well, it's, it's very much. It's body language. Mm -hmm. I can't cook, but you can. Don't be so modest. You're a rat for Pete's sake. <laughs> they liked it. This could work. You impressed a food critic, for fuck's sake. Yeah? Hey, they like the soup! Oh, ah! Dude! I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Can you open the jar at least? Okay, I'm gonna let you out now. But we're together on this. Good work, dude. <laughs> yeah, oh, come on, Patton. You're not that much of a dick. <laughs> 
Come on. I mean, we know where this is going. Go jump onto this man's head and start controlling him yeah, by his hair on. somehow. Common sense, yeah. really. I mean, everyone could figure this out. Yeah. Oh, he's just a little guy. <laughs> I guess the plus side here, of course, if he helps, not just the gets to experience the cooking in the kitchen as a real chef, but he'll get all the access to all the good food he wants. Exactly. It's not much, but it's, uh, you know, uh, not much. <laughs> oh, oh, bud. Come on, man. That's like a $1.8 million apartment. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has an oven mitt to sleep in? That's pretty cool. That's cute, right? Yeah, that works. <laughs> Morning, little chef. Okay, so you don't have a bed. That sucks. Yeah, that'd be fucked having to sleep on the couch all the time. Rise and shine. Idiot, I knew this would happen. Egg's gone. He's stolen food and hit the road. Dude, he started cooking. Just yeah. just look at the kitchen. That's what I get for trusting a rat. There you go. What? Uh, hey. Oh. Kitchen. <laughs> Hot plate. <laughs> hey, that's as much kitchen as I've had sometimes. Yeah, good point. As much <laughs> kitchen as he needs. <laughs> Adorable little tiny omelette. Mm -hmm. That's good. What, what'd you put in there? I have to say, even though the omelet he made for himself is much smaller, proportionally speaking, it's fucking giant. Yeah, yeah, he gave himself way more. Huge. For sure. <laughs> Comparison. Where'd you get that? In this garden from this lady. Don't steal. I'll buy some spices. Yeah. Will you though? Hey, if he has a job, he can afford to buy spices. Yeah. We're gonna be late on the first day. Come on, little chef. Dude, he needs breakfast too. Bastard. Well, uh... You know. Oh God. Oh God, no. Don't oh. no, put him down there! Please! Okay. <laughs> I know it's stupid, but neither of us can do this alone, so you with me? Quick interesting point. I think somebody in the American Dad Riders saw that specific scene and thought, let's do that. Not the hat, the shorts. But he's just yanking on. Yep, pubes. <laughs> It's the one where Steve wants to be an athlete, so he joins the water polo team, and Klaus has to control oh, his athletic God. abilities, <laughs> pube style. Oh. It's definitely one of those, oh, oh God. No. So let's do this thing! Ah, hyped. Yes. Ready to cook. Uh, Supposedly. <laughs> I've just immediately lost <laughs> that yeah. fucking confidence. Welcome. Yeah, <laughs> Fair enough. Recreate the soup. Take as much time as you need. That's what I'll see when I die. <laughs> <laughs> <Go>. <laughs> Ow! Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ow! Okay, yes, yeah, that's definitely not a good system, I see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this is just his process. It's yeah. how he gets ready to cook. It's just getting the creative juices flowing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. That, oh that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, I can understand. There's a lot of bites. Yeah. <laughs> this is not gonna work, little chef. We gotta figure out something else. We gotta figure out a system. Biting, no. No scampering or scurrying. Understand, little chef? You know what, he is hungry. He hasn't really eaten no, properly. He didn't eat anything. You're hungry. It's such a small amount. Who fucking cares? Oh my God, yeah. Just need to work out a system in a way that doesn't look like I'm being controlled by Red Chef. Oh, would you listen to me? I'm insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really doesn't help that you're yelling all of this out. I do love that they sprinkled in a bit of self-awareness. I can't be checking for a handshake from a rat. <laughs> <laughs> the rat! I saw it right next to you! No, there was no rat. What are you doing in here? Familiarizing myself? Get out. One can get too familiar with vegetables, you know! What? I don't like the implications of that. Are you statement. threatening him? You okay up there? <laughs> How did you do that? Oh. I'd love it if it's just like, this doesn't work with anyone else. Linguini's nervous system is just... Yeah. That's why he's so uncoordinated. It's definitely an odd thought process. Well, it works. Sure. <laughs> yeah. One look and I knew we had the same crazy idea. Ow! No! Huh. Right, so this is them practicing. Yep. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get past this part. Yeah. I think it was one of the only details for me that I was like, wait. What? Yeah. <laughs> How? It works for the story. It's definitely the more important part, mm. but it is just like a... What? <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of things I can stretch my imagination for. Controlling all my limbs by pulling the hair on my head? Nah. It's funny how the idea of like a sentient human intelligence level oh, rat yeah. no, I'm is good. more believable. Totally fine. <laughs> yeah. 
No. <laughs> don't look. Don't look at our crimes. <laughs> I'd have a lot easier a time believing this if he was looking and they were interpreting. The rat pulls his hair and he's like, oh, you mean over here? The rat's like, yeah. He's like, oh, okay, this one. And then they learn to communicate that way. Right. So he's still doing all the things. Mm. He just understands what Remy wants from specific hair pulls. Yeah, right. Ridiculous. Mm. But I believe it a lot more than just his being puppeted yes. via hair. Yeah. Well, they went with puppeted via hair. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. But you will need to know more than soup in my kitchen. Colette will be teaching you how we do things here. Yeah, you already established that, man. Listen, want you to know how honored I am to be such a... <laughs> no, you listen. Yeah, Jesus don't Christ. don't lean on the chopping board. How many women do you see in this kitchen? <laughs> Only me, because uh, hot cuisine is built upon rules written by stupid old men. Yeah, so uh, it's a misogynistic industry. Oh, yeah. Designed to make it impossible for women to enter this world. Which is weird, considering the whole, gotta keep women in the kitchen. I know, just, right? Just not the professional kitchen. Still I'm here, what? because I'm the toughest cook in this kitchen. I am not going to jeopardize it for some garbage boy who got lucky. I completely understand her sentiment. Agreed. Fair, <laughs> completely fair. Mm, very much so. Go on. I just, yeah, no, it's always baffled me from a cultural perspective because mm. being raised by Italians, cooking is something everyone does. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. just a cultural expectation that you can cook at least a little bit. Yeah. It always struck me as odd that it's like, oh, that version is a woman's job. But then if it's ever more important than that, like in a restaurant, well, then the chef has to be a man. And I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <know>. What? <laughs> Look, I don't Consistent. have any <laughs> cultural connection to that. I just think it's weird. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah. Definitely. Go home! Wow! What, so you have a giant crush on the woman who just threatened your life? Yes. Fair enough. Fusto makes Chinese food. Chinese. <laughs> no. Yeah. Work up something for my frozen food concept. Corn puppies. Corn dogs. Only smaller. Okay, like, I understand how branding works and this man is carrying on the brands, but Gusto wouldn't approve of any of these yeah. things. Yes. There's a uh, really insulting his memory. Very you much. Know? Maybe Gusto in overalls or corn in doggy makeup. But please, with dignity. Dude, yes. Are you joking? Very much. Dignity is the top priority here. Oh, yeah. This is how we ended up with uh, Chinese gusto. A gusto for every nation. <laughs> <laughs> Get my lawyer. What is the letter Linguini's mom sent? Yeah, but what is it saying? The will stipulates if no heir appears two years from the date of death, Gusto's business will pass to his sous chef. Right. Oh my God. So it's just the classic royal storyline. Yeah. If you don't find the true born king, he's the evil uncle. Yes, he's Scar. All of those. Yeah. Linguini is Gusto's son. Yes. <laughs> yeah. They're well established tropes. There's nothing wrong with them. I, I think they're being used well, you know? To be fair, I kind of got that he was Gusto's son as soon as he was being hired at the restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> but like the treacherous uncle trying to steal the throne, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Classic. Yeah. yeah and yeah, mind yeah. you, being able to see these tropes coming comes from having watched a lot of movies and oh, a lot yeah, of TV yeah, yeah. shows. Totally, totally. We're not trying to diminish their value or anything like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not saying it's bad that they're doing this. Mm -hmm. I'm just like clocking to the fact that it's happening. Yeah, precisely. Yeah, yeah. What I I want to know is if this letter, if this boy changes anything. Hey guys, just had to film this one in two parts again. Hence the outfit changes and a bunch of stuff I got done for a wedding I'm going to. Yeah. So yeah, good times. <laughs> the deadline in the will expires in less than a month. Boy arrives with a letter from his mother claiming Gusto is his father. Suspect. You'd love to think that. Well, I mean, it is a handwritten note, so that's a tough one. Boy does not know. Claims she never told him. Oh, Gusto. What does she want? A job for the boy. Yeah. Didn't even want anything out of it. Yeah. If he works here, you'll be able to keep an eye on I do a little digging. Find out how much of this is real. Need you to collect some DNA samples. Nice. Shifty, cutting lawyer. The best kind. Yeah. He knows. Oh. <laughs> so afraid. Relax, he's a garbage boy. No. <laughs> so oh. paranoid. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, uh, I'm cutting vegetables. Like mommy in the kitchen? Mommy never had to face the dinner rush when the orders come flooding in and every dish is different. Oh. Yeah, he, restaurants are stressful. He is going to lead to learn knife technique. Every second counts and you cannot be mommy. Interesting. Keep your station clear. I love that he's learning from her, well, 
Remy, mm-hmm. the rat. Yes. <laughs> Not Linguini. No. <laughs> Remy's learning from her as well because she's an experienced chef. Absolutely. Keep your station clear or I will kill you. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Ugh, your sleeves look like you threw up on them. It really is just like that, huh? Always return to this position. Mm. Cook smooth fast. Mark of a chef. Messy apron. Clean sleeves. From my time in the kitchen, and I had a very kind-hearted head chef Mm -hmm. it gets stressful yeah high pressure situations yeah and time is usually a big thing Mm -hmm. in every dish chef gusto always has something unexpected always do something unexpected no it was his job to be unexpected it's our job to follow (laughs) the recipe it doesn't really carry on the spirit but i get it (laughs) yeah (laughs) look when you're a genius like gusto then you can do something unexpected sure good bread is without tasting it only great bread sound this way. I've never really tried to listen to bread before. Mm, learn its secrets. The only way to get the best produce is to have first pick of the day. Grow it yourself or bribe a grower. <laughs> People think old cuisine is snooty. A chef must also be snooty. But not so. Got hired by circus people as an apple bag. He get fired for messing around with the ringmaster's daughter. <laughs> ha! Nice. Manslot, I say. Horst has done time. Change as the story every time you ask him. I robbed the second largest bank in France. I killed a man. Yeah. This dumb. <laughs> Those guys, though, that, like, claim wild criminal shit, you're like, yeah. why, dude? Why do you want to be known for this? He's having fun. He's been banned from Las Vegas. La Russe ran gun for the resistance. We are artists. We? We. You are one of us now, we? No, he's more of a spectator, but I I know you don't know that. He's an instrument, a tool. (laughs) Thank you for all the advice. It really is a tool. Thank you, too. Well, taking it. That's a bit of a sad one. Makes you wonder how how little appreciation she gets. <laughs> uh, I don't really have to wonder. I'd say very yeah. little. Mm. <laughs> but, but, but I just dropped my out. keys. <laughs> <laughs> My thing is going insane. What else do you gotta have? Well, have a very nice foie gras. Oh god, foie gras. No idea what that is. Oh, okay. How do I say this? Uh-huh. It involves animal cruelty. Oh, foie gras is that. bad. I think we can't really talk about why, but don't eat it. Yeah. The fuck, France. <laughs> what the fuck, indeed? Yeah. What does the chef have that's new? So what is that? What is new? You? I told him I would ask. What are you blathering about? What did you tell them? I told them I would ask. <laughs> yeah, he did say that. Yeah. Just pull out an old gusto recipe. They know about the old stuff. But they like linguine soup. Yeah. They want something new, something fresh, challenging to the palate. <laughs> linguine. Customers like the soup. That's all we are saying. Were we saying that? Were we saying that? <laughs> Don't speak for me. If it's linguine they want, Chef Linguine has prepared something special. Definitely off menu. Are you going to straight up lie and just make something yourself? No, I think he's going to try and... Um, yeah, screw up Linguine. Screw Yeah. Sabotage. Mm, yes. It's your chance to try something worthy of your talent. Sweet bread a la gusto. Colette will help you. That's right. That recipe was a disaster. Gusto, you said so. I see. Dog rolls, puree, dried white fungus, chilvy licorice sauce. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, that sounds like a problem. But it's gusto, so... Lalo! Hate anchovies, hate licorice. Feel stomach? I, uh, I do enjoy licorice and if it's good and by itself. Yeah. Definitely not with anchovy. <laughs> Although I've never tried, so... <laughs> you don't know! <laughs> Look at us peasants <laughs> challenging a master's designs. <laughs> don't mind me, I'm down gonna... Oi. File this real quick. See you over here! I'll... I wonder if all the co-workers here think he's on drugs or just a weirdo possibly both drugs the key to his genius <laughs> like most geniuses yes <laughs> what are you doing the recipe doesn't call for white truffle oil oh, improvising oh. this is no time to experiment it's definitely time to do that i should listen to you <laughs> whatever you are doing stop it there is a special order see this is the kind of conflict in a movie that i can get behind because it's so like ridiculous <laughs> and it makes sense <laughs> he's genuinely sort of not trying to go along with this but he's a puppet yep. so oh, whoa, whoa, I forgot the <gasps> don't you dare le gasp <laughs> not i'm not i'm Okay. 
It happened. Is uh, Linguini's dish? Did you taste it? Ah, before he changed it. Good. What? Uh-huh. Going out the door! Say ah! it! <laughs> I have seven more orders! Shit. <laughs> well, I mean, the restaurant's making money. Yeah, that's funny, because he thinks that it's like, no, it's his Gusto jeans coming out. Uh-huh. <laughs> Special order! Oh, that's nice for Remy. Yes. And by extension, Linguini. Yeah, he's just there. Yeah. He's a spectator. Benefiting from his label. <laughs> he is um, the face of the operation. Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Take a break, little chef. Get some air. But, like, would you think this guy's being puppeted, or would you think this man is carrying, like, rodents around in his hat? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Wow. Oh, that was lucky. Yeah. Got your dog. <laughs> yeah, he, he definitely is going to think he's going crazy. Oh, yeah. No doubt. I'd love to have a little talk. Am I in trouble? Trouble? No. How does he get that giant hat to stay so poofy on his tiny head? Skill. The plunger won't be coming to you for advice anymore, eh, Colette? Well, oh, come on. Linguini's not smart enough to be that ruthless. Toasting your success. I don't really drink. I wouldn't either if I was drinking that. You would have to be an idiot of us not to appreciate this Chateau Latour. Yeah, not everybody he likes wine though. Yeah, I'd say that, but I think pretty much all wine tastes like garbage. Exactly. Let us toast your non idiocy. I don't mind a little red here and there, mm-hmm. but don't mind is not exactly a high praise. Yeah, fair enough. And I've had good uh, wine sent from actual France by mm. an ex. Oh, okay. There you go. And it was like, I feel bad that I don't appreciate this properly. Yeah, no, I mean, I get that people put a lot of time and effort into it. It's a whole thing, but I don't oh, no, know. No, no, no. It just Specifically tastes... in that one instance. Yeah, okay, sure. But no. I'm talking about wine in general. No, you know? yeah, I definitely don't give a shit if other oh, people don't think I like wine. <laughs> I felt bad because she sent me an expensive bottle of wine from her region of France. Okay, yes. No, yeah, that is fair enough. But I'm just talking about um, I appreciate that the there's a lot of work and effort that goes oh, into absolutely. making good wine, For sure. broadly speaking. I, I, that just, it just ain't for me. <laughs> I have no issues with people liking wine. It's just yeah. the idea that you'd have to be an idiot not to like it. Like, yeah. bro, very weird. Very weird take. Nemi! Thought I'd never see you guys again. What are you eating? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I don't really know. Oh, boy. I think it was some sort of wrapper once. Yeah, it's Jesus. paper. It's actual paper. Wholesome. You're in Paris now, baby. No brother of mine eats rejectamenta in my town. He yeah. definitely does. Yeah, he does. He was doing it. <laughs> Probably Just continue now. to, let's yep. be honest. Also, though, like, bro, you literally had a little setup mm-hmm. of food that Linguini gave you. Yeah. Yeah. You are stealing. It's for my brother. But the boy could lose his job. But I would, too. It's under control. What? That's not, not a, more reason. It's not about it. you. Yeah. No way. Okay. But also, yeah, two people losing their job is twice as bad. I know, right? <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> well, did you train? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't expect me to believe this is your first time. Not. I knew it. It's my. Are you trying to? Uh, he's yeah. trying to get his secrets. Mm. In vino et veritas. <laughs> Fifth time. Monday was my first. Tell me, Linguini, about your interests. Animals? <laughs> what kind? <laughs> In what way do you mean, man? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> Dogs, cats, horses, guinea pigs, rats. Ah, I brought you something to... Ah! Bit that out right now! He's hungry. I have got to teach you about food. And again, he had food. <laughs> there was a lot of it. Take a bite of this. Ah, no! Don't just hork it down! Oh, brother, he's hungry, though? Here. Chew it slowly. He was eating actual garbage before. I'm sure he's malnourished. Sweet and oaky nuttiness. You detect that? I'm detecting nuttiness. <laughs> <laughs> that's burn. That's suggestive. <laughs> Taste this. Slight tang on the finish. Okay. Bind them together. I think I'm getting a little something. Man, don't get me wrong. It is good to enjoy these flavors, but if I'm starving, just straight down. Imagine every great taste in the world being combined. The extent to which we're taking in here is like, bro, do you just not have taste buds at all? <laughs> yeah, lost me again. But that was interesting. Does a meal just not have a sense of smell, period? Actually, to be fair, different people do taste things differently. They have different That's senses a good of point. smell and taste. I am one of those people, yeah. so yes. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't know you're alive. I kind of have to. What do you have to more than family? Well, uh... I have a job now. Yeah. 
like I'm a fancy chef doing the thing I want to do. Yeah. Have you ever had a pet rat? No. Did you work in a lab with rats? Genetically engineered super rats, <laughs> maybe. Hey, why do they call it that? What? Ratatouille. I love even in his giantly drunken state. If you're gonna name a food, give it a name that sounds delicious. He's not even trying to hold back. He just doesn't even know what the fuck he's getting at. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? His stupidity has gone all the way around right back to genius. Yeah. <laughs> Ratatouille does not sound delicious. We are all out of wine. So you gave him all the expensive stuff and got nothing out of it. Yep. Nice. My son has returned! That's what we call an investment. Oh. Created themselves some instruments. That's very cool. Some rat jazz. Yeah. Oh god, it's I the rat it. pack. <laughs> <laughs> Finding someone to replace you has been a disaster. It seems like they've actually got a pretty sweet setup here. Yeah. For rats. It hasn't been easy. You didn't make it easy. I know. By getting lost and nearly dying, how could you? <laughs> I know. What? Jesus. You look thin. Why is that? A shortage of food or a surplus of snobbery? <laughs> yeah. I mean, he looks the same as before, so. I know, right? Yeah. I have found a nice spot not far away. I'll be able to visit often. Yeah, they're not even bothering to listen. Oh, yeah. Oh. Visit? I will. You're not staying? No. Or Why would he stay when you talk to him like that? He's got a job and a life, and quite frankly, Linguini's place is nicer than this. Yeah, quite frankly, Linguini treats him better. Yeah. Eventually, a bird's got to leave the nest. We're rats. We don't leave our nests. He can make a new nest. All we do is take. I want to add something to this world. You're talking like a human. Who are not as bad as you say. He's talking like an artist. Yes. Even worse. Disgusting. <laughs> Lower than a rat. <laughs> I've uh, been able to observe them close range. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say right under their noses but he's above it technically <laughs> come with me i got something i want you to see because this is actually kind of fucked up and if anyone here is sensitive to seeing dead animals probably click away for a little bit oh okay make sure the floors and countertops are clean see you tomorrow yeah honestly he doesn't really do a whole lot else anyway may as well clean god damn well that is a lot of cleaning i guess he was the cleaning staff he was before however so yeah, one person jesus this is a really annoying thing in cooking at the end of the day having to clean up the entire yeah. kitchen obviously it's nice if you have help like a bus boy you know who's gonna help cleaning but like depends on the size of the place i can remember a lot of times shutting down the kitchen it's like uh it's not even a big kitchen but i'll no. be here for like four hours cleaning this yeah. place <laughs> even even a small kitchen minimum three or four hours <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a real place. I'm sure it is. This is what happens when a rat gets a little too comfortable around humans. Oh, that is surprisingly brutal for a Disney movie. Yeah. This is Pixar. Ah, Pixar. Mm. Right. My bad. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this place has gotten a lot of controversy. Uh -huh. these. We look out for our own kind. We're all we've got. Yeah, I'm definitely introducing some pretty real stakes. You're telling me the future can only be more of this? You can't change nature change is nature that's fair. damn straight like, i like that sentiment he's basically saying it's going to be difficult for himself remy yeah but that yeah. doesn't mean it's not worth doing yeah you at least gotta try where are you going with luck forward yeah with luck forwards yeah i like that with luck <laughs> yeah it's like it takes a lot of hard work and a certain amount of opportunity yeah. and luck and unfortunately you might not even live to see that change but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't try to contribute to it yeah definitely Although this is a little bold. Um, yes. That is... <laughs> <laughs> way too bold. That's hysterical. I thought his plan was just to keep living and working the way he was, not try to be a member of human society. Yeah. Somehow. <sighs> yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, it does seem about right. Oh shit. Wake up, fool. <laughs> I yeah. still love that it actually works this know. way. He's literally asleep. There's so much disbelief to suspend, but <laughs> once you do, this is freaking hysterical. Well, if you can, it's kind of the writer's job to suspend your disbelief. Yeah. But sure. Mm. <laughs> Overall, yeah, it's one of those things. It's just like, yep, I guess that's how we're doing it. Just let it happen so the story can happen. Mm. <laughs> Dude, you're going to have to do something drastic. Oh, yeah. No! <laughs> Not that! Oh no! Wake him up! It's so good! It's so much better this way! <laughs> 
Well, it's a little weekend at Bernie's, but sure. Yeah. He's not dead, so yeah. I guess there's that. That all? <laughs> Have you seen Weekend at Bernie's? No, but I know a lot about it. You should. Mm, it's good. I know. Good morning. <laughs> the chef, he uh, invited you for a drink. What did he say? He just seems like such a douchebag. <laughs> He's this just... <laughs> <laughs> this sunglasses indoors. What, you can't tell me? Uh, he's a little hungover, you know? Forgive me for intruding on your personal relationship with the chef. Oh my god. Remy, drop his face on the ground so he wakes up. <laughs> you give me to teach you a few kitchen tricks, then you blow past me. Wake up. Seriously. I thought you were different. I thought you thought I was different. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Who makes these faces in their sleep? <laughs> uh. If I looked out only for myself, I would have let you drown. Oh wow. And he's so confused. Yep. I wanted you to succeed. Oh, I know. I liked you. My mistake. Well, a very, very brief moment of letting her guard down. Yeah, pretty much. I can't do it anymore. Wait, 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 wait. Don't motorcycle away. Motorcycle away. <laughs> I'm no good with words. I'm no good with food either. Not without your help. You have talent. No, but I don't. I, it's not me. Oh, uh, yet the only way this works is if you tell her about Remy. <laughs> She's trying to do. You have to say it directly. Mm -hmm. When I added that extra ingredient, it, that wasn't me. I would have followed your advice I, because I love you. Oh, dude. No, that's a little too far. Just yeah. just timing wise, yeah. She barely knows him. She did say that she likes him. She likes, she likes you know, you know, she she likes him. But uh yeah, maybe maybe don't schmoesby it just yet, you know? <laughs> yeah. If you can avoid being schmoesby. <laughs> Always avoid being schmoesby. Yeah. I have a secret. Uh, it's sort of disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you preface it like that? I know. I have a rat. Dude, if you don't take the fucking hat off, stop trying to talk your way through this. This tiny little... Oh. <laughs> the look! The look! A tiny chef who tells me what to do. Tiny chef. He's up here. In your brain. So good. Buddy, <laughs> if you don't show, you just look like a crazy person. I know, right? Why is it so hard to talk to you? What? It's not her. She's I, not the problem. Yeah, you find it hard to talk, period. Yeah. I'm going to risk it all. You want to know why I'm such a fast learner? <laughs> I love that she goes for the race. race. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to show you. Please take off the fucking hat. <laughs> no, no. And I know Remy's going to... Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Look, I, I guess I'm glad for them that this is somehow accidentally working out. But yeah. Remy, dude, what the fuck? Yeah. Okay, I know survivalists. Yeah, yeah, okay. sure. Remy's trying to not get killed. For literal being a rat. Life is could potentially yes. on the line there. Fair, but <laughs> like, come just, on, bro. <laughs> uh. I love this guy's commitment to the aesthetic. Fair enough. <laughs> this skull typewriter. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Coffin shaped office. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. Gusto's. Finally closing, is it? No. It's... Announced a new line of microwave egg rolls. What? It's prospering. Stop guessing. It's popular. <laughs> <laughs> Won't spit out such a good vintage. <laughs> I haven't reviewed Gusto in years. My last review condemned it to the tourist trade. Gusto has finally found his yeah, rightful place. Gusto is dead. Yeah. Alongside another equally famous chef, Boyardi. Touché. That was my last word. I feel like somebody watched this and was like, got the inspiration for Hotel Transylvania. Yeah. Because for real, the design is so similar. Yeah. How could it be popular? Man, this guy really thinks his influence is just all encompassing, huh? Classic critic. Ah! Yeah. The DNA matches. He is Gusto's son. This can't just happen. Well, I mean, given nine months. The boy knows! Pretending to be an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he ain't pretending. Uh, not an act. Taunting me with that rat. Deliberately trying to make me think it's important. Oh, buddy. Uh, oh, mate. Is the rat important? Yeah, this is the part of the story you don't share with anyone. These are inside thoughts. Oh, they are. Mm. He just wants me to think that it is. I order him to kill it. Oh, he wants me to see it everywhere. Oh, it's here. No, it isn't. It's here. My dude. <sighs> Oh god, they do this unraveling thing so well. I refuse yeah. to be sucked into his little game of 
Yeah, you just realized how crazy you sound, huh? Should I be concerned about this? Yes, very much. About you? Super yeah. concerned. Very much so. Absolutely. <laughs> Maybe get him a therapist. Mm -hmm. If you're all friends, you know, yeah, if possibly. you just want his money, then. No, yeah, then who cares? Yeah. <laughs> um, how can he keep paying you if he's, you know, in like an insane taken. asylum? Got to take care of the money train. Which is what Remy is trying to focus on right now. <laughs> the grind, bro. <laughs> bro, bro, you don't need her. You got to focus on the grind. <laughs> if I fire him now, everyone will wonder why. Isn't it good to have Gusto's name getting headlines? Not over his face. <laughs> Gusto's already has Does a face, it... and it's fat and lovable and familiar. Yeah, he wants the brand. Oh, okay, yeah, so he wants everyone to keep enjoying things exactly as they are, besides these. Pretty much. Yeah. His deadline passes in three days. You can fire him. No one will ever know. I was worried about the hair sample you gave me. First time it came back identified as rodent hair. <laughs> oh. Shouldn't have told him that. Yeah. <laughs> You wanted things to go according to plan? Yeah. After watching him unravel like that? Mm -hmm. Try this. It's better. Oh no. <laughs> Remy, what the fuck? This is just, it's making him look weird. Not that he didn't look weird before, but you know. How's she gonna react when she finds out that all the genius is this rat? Ah, uh, you'll and, see. I know he was trying to tell her, but she still didn't get it. Oh, poor bastard. Yeah, maybe the hat really cushioned his fold. Oh, this would still suck. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. And yeah, yeah, that would be a problem. Disgusting little creatures. Poor thing. Yeah, and you know what? A ton of rats are surprisingly clean. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's uh. They actually take care of themselves pretty good. Well, it's our crap that gets on them. <laughs> yes. I was reminded how fragile it all was, how the world really saw me. So, uh, cities are dirty and disgusting. Rats are actually quite clean. <laughs> Remy, psst, 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 psst. we were afraid you weren't gonna, you know, show up. This ass hat. Just quickly, yes, yeah. rats are capable of spreading diseases mm. because they can contract them without being affected by certain ones. That's not what we're talking about. You told them? That's exactly what I said not to do. Why did you think he would listen to you? Good question. I didn't think you meant them. I'm sorry. Is there a problem over here? Yes, most definitely. Wait here. You just lied to him, be like, oh, I don't have the hookup anymore, sorry. Yeah. Ah, they saw me. I got caught. Ah, what am I gonna do? Oh. I don't know if they would accept that. Mm. They're supposed to be like rat gangsters, right? <laughs> <laughs> the rat thugs. How you doing? That guy is. <laughs> it's interesting, because it's like, he's got that little tag on his ears. Yeah. He's probably a lab rat. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Put him on the juice. <laughs> they want you to steal food? Yes. No, it's... Well, yes. No, yeah. Yeah. It's it's family. They don't have your ideals. If Chef Fancy Pants had any ideals, think I'd be hocking barbecue over here? I mean, yeah, but that doesn't mean that you should steal. We're inventing new ways to sell out over here. <laughs> Jesus. Shut up! Mr. Whistle. That's all part of his imagination, though. Yeah. I can't keep them quiet. The plan's gonna be after me with their mouths open and... It's a fun part of his imagination. Oh, here it is. Kind of reminds me of Deadpool, just imagining shit and going with it. Your will! But you wouldn't have found this otherwise. Absolutely. Mind if I, uh... Not at all. <laughs> Linguini? A fucking face. Yeah. Could Linguini be filed with your will? Ah, uh, well... Putting all the pieces together. It's a good thing he's smart enough to know what all of this means. Even though he shouldn't understand how contracts work or what they are at all. But, you know. He picked up reading real quick. He did. I know. He's your son? I have a son? <laughs> I am a figment of your imagination. Yeah. That's exactly. You know in life. Fantastic Restaurant. explanation. <laughs> no, come on! Uh, <laughs> I guess oh, on a plus side, he knows for sure he's not going crazy now. Yeah. Less of a plus side, he can't prove that to anyone. Yeah. Unless he gets the rats. <laughs> yeah, which he won't. If I just catch the rats, it'll all be okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Skinner works so well as a villain because he's barely a villain, just a jerk. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's you know, just kind of desperate and yeah. sad. Yeah. <laughs> and kind of a jerk. <laughs> yeah, but you know, yeah. those things happen when yeah. you're Desperate and sad. Yeah. So. <laughs> You've got it, bud. Nice. Oh, shit. Okay. Skinner's dedicated. Skinner's also got it a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, nice. I was wondering if they were going to do that. Of course. And they did. You know what? I don't care how little it would be. <laughs> 
nice. Yeah. I don't care how little that would have actually worked. I love that they did it anyway. Yeah, exactly. It's wildly stupid, but it was fantastic. Well, I think that this movie is kind of a masterclass in just how much stupid you can get away with. Yeah, you know? that's fair. Just how much you can push the envelope and still have the story work really well. <laughs> sure. Get out of my office. You are in peace. Ooh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Oh, no. For real, though, she should run the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, she should. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you used that photo. Cockeyed <laughs> face. Yeah. Oh, yep. they're going to burn it all. Yes. Cool. Fun. The, the only appropriate response. Indeed. <laughs> oh, damn. Talk about moving up. Yeah. Hey, bud, we got a nice new restaurant. Oh, sorry. Well, yeah, they got a nice... Yeah. yeah. Not a new restaurant, but they got a nice restaurant, a nice yeah. new apartment. Mm. And uh, I'd like to see him... <laughs> sucker. <laughs> I'd like to see him upgrade Remy's quarters yeah yeah um, right continue to but uh, he got made him a bed yeah he got him he got nice. some new digs you know but uh then there's this shit <laughs> yeah i know <sighs> really should have just lied to them <laughs> he should have yes tried at least no i appreciate it because <laughs> they're rats it's such a small <laughs> sucker <laughs> such a small amount of food that it would be kind of hard for someone oh no yeah except yeah more every time there's a lot of rats i do like how they work in the whole like oh it's family i can't say no to family thing because but... it's been there <laughs> yeah it is interesting though some people do have really large families probably enough pause because i know that's going to be unaudible whatever um it really reminds me of the stories i hear about nba players when they get famous because it's not just their family it's everyone they grew up with so suddenly they've got yeah exactly so suddenly they've got like 40 50 60 people Mm -hmm. asking them for tickets to this and that other game or you know can you front this bill or that Mm -hmm. bill and it's just like I don't have this many fucking friends and family. Who are all these people? There's some comparison analogy here about rats dragging on your coattails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I definitely feel bad for those people who have to sort of pick and choose like, yes, I will buy my brother this yeah, food, but sure. my brother's friend over here. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. There's one time yeah. when Emil is kind of like, a complete jackass. Yes. <laughs> like, he should have known that this would happen. <laughs> Emil's stupid. Yes, he is. <laughs> so I guess there's that. Yeah. What is the secret to your genius? You want the truth? I... Can't tell the truth. Yeah, he cannot tell you. Remy. M. You fucking idiot. Yeah. Gusto's son. You weren't aware of that fact until very recently. How did you find out? Some part of me just knew. The Gusto part? Okay, that part he didn't need to... Uh, bullshit that mm-hmm. much he could have said you know i had some help from yeah. an anonymous source yeah where do you get your inspiration oh. inspiration has many names mine is named colette <laughs> what <laughs> yeah yeah there's some kind of lie he could have come up he with. could have done better but mm. i understand a yeah. bit of a stretch for remy to expect more for him to expect like full transparency absolutely not <laughs> not only full transparency but for linguini to come up with an actually good excuse yeah he might yeah, not be the fair. stupidest but he's yeah, not the smartest. the smartest either yeah for sure you know yeah that's fair yeah yes inspector a rat infestation the gusto's restaurant three months happen now someone cancels i'll start you in but, but, but the rat. oh skinner <laughs> you almost feel sorry for it yeah a little he should have finished an hour ago <laughs> Bonjour, ma chérie. oh dude we're just talking about my inspiration he calls it his tiny shit <laughs> <laughs> stop acting like a jerk linguini yeah <laughs> I love how extra they went with him. I love the idea. You are Monsieur Linguini. That he's kind of a, you know, a Dracula idea, but he's a chef critic. Yeah. What are you eating? Devouring their food, their dreams. <laughs> you are new to this game and you've been playing without an opponent against the rules so so you think of making food and criticizing food as a game between two opponents anton ego you're slow for someone in the fast lane and you're thin for someone who likes food <gasps> <laughs> oh shoot it's, it's such a non-point no you sad little boy you're also thin don't like food i love it if i don't love it don't Swallow. Uh, all right. I, think the internet, food. I think the internet has just ruined me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fair enough. <laughs> These lines, I'm just like, bro, what are you going to say like that? <laughs> I will return tomorrow night. High expectations. 
Listen, we hate to be rude, but we're French. You know, is Linguini French? Don't give me that look. How am I supposed to concentrate with you yanking on my hair? Uh, I know he's the son of Gusto, so yeah, half makes sense. French there you go. and his mom seems Italian. I think he was probably raised in the States if he's talking like this. Well, yeah, that's a whole other story, mm -hmm. but yes. And that's another thing. Colette knows how to cook too, you know. Bow! That is an interesting point. Well, they gave everyone else French accents, yeah. except for him. I think at least how I'm figuring it, he was raised in the States. Yeah. So he doesn't speak French. He doesn't but have an accent. I'm totally fine if that is the explanation. Mm. It's just interesting that they never bring it up at all. And they're claiming that he's a French man when realistically it's like, he has a French dad that is essentially an Italian guy raised in America from the, from his depiction. In all fairness, I don't think they ever claim anything, but I do. No, she just, just said it right there. Oh, we she are French. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough. I'm not your puppet. You're not my puppet controlling yeah. guy. That's exactly puppet a relationship. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's very much. That is the cook. That's exactly what's happening. How are you going to fucking cook? Wow, he really does think that he's having an impact on the cooking. Yeah. You're just there, man. Yeah. Remy is doing all the work. Get your mind right. Ego is coming and I need to focus. Remy and Colette are more the brains of this operation than you will ever be, my friend. You are just the face and you're not even a pretty one at that. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> <laughs> He's being rude. <laughs> being rude to the rat. <laughs> I've been selfish. You guys hungry? What? Are you kidding? what? Dinner's on me. Yeah. We'll go after closing time. Oh, dude. Yeah. Tell dad to bring the whole clan. What are you doing? Yeah. <sighs> being spiteful. Yeah. The little chef. I really got to know how the fuck he got through the rest of that night without Remy helping him. Maybe, I guess, he remembers some of the stuff Remy was doing. Possibly, yeah. Uh... An inside job, huh? I see the appeal. Well, yeah, this is very much a heist now. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> a rat heist. Yeah. Oh, God, and they're not actually going to take food. They're just going to eat it right there? I think they're going to take it. At least just take it. And while I understand oh, the frustration... Go. Yeah. Because, yeah, he probably feels that it's like, oh, I'm never actually going to get anywhere with this because I'll mm -hmm. always just be under the hat. <laughs> yeah. Know? It's still not a good idea. <laughs> no. Little chef? Oh, hey. Hey, little chef. Thought you went back to the, the apartment. You felt bad, yeah. finally. That's good. Didn't seem right to leave things the way that we did. Look, I don't want to fight. <laughs> oh, they're all hiding on the spaces? <laughs> a lot has changed in not very much time, you know? Oh, man. God damn. Nobody's ever expected anything of me. The only reason anyone expects anything from me now is because of you. Yeah. Okay. And now Remy feels like an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> You've never failed me, and I should never forget that. Oh, wow, you you went for the whole... And you didn't even chew them. I know. That's what Remy oh was saying. Oh, my God. <laughs> yep. Gross. Oh. What's going on? Oh, man. Uh, hey. Oh, yeah. They yeah. didn't wash their hands like Remy did. How could you? I thought you were my friend. I trusted you. Don't come back or I'll treat you the way restaurants are supposed to. Ooh. It's unfortunate considering he doesn't have the skills to keep this restaurant going. <laughs> nope. Colette probably does. Though, oh, yeah, so, for sure. Yeah. You're right, Dad. We are what we are. And we're rats. Yeah, but he wasn't mad at you for being a rat. Yeah, mad at you for betraying his trust. <laughs> yes. And potentially hurting his business. Yeah, yeah. Or your shared business. Yeah. Sort of. Do you know what you would like this evening, sir? Your heart roasted on a spit. Um, I don't think he can serve that. Let's <laughs> 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 see. Nice. Yeah. Today is the big day. You should say something to them. Inspire them. No, just... Take all the money and make a run off. That's all you could do. Yeah. <laughs> Attention, everyone. Tonight is a big night. Oh. Appetite is coming, and he's going to have a big ego. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the critic. And he's going to order something. Please tell Colette to be the leader. I know, right? Please. <laughs> Even if you still technically own the restaurant, she should be running it. Yeah. Just can't leave it alone, can you? I don't need the inside food. The key is to not be picky. Sure. Oh, no. <gasps> oh. Uh, you jackass. That's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> you are still only a rat. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that even in that context, uh, Dad told them to be picky about mm. shit that's in traps. He, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'll tell you one thing. It goes here. Anton Igor is just another customer. Thank you. Uh, you will create for me a new line of chef Skinner frozen foods. In return, 
will not kill you. Wait, could you not just come up with the foods yourself? You're not even trying, man. He is a chef. What the fuck? Weird. Yeah. How good do you think it's going to be? It's still frozen food. Do you know what you would like this evening, Zara? Do you know what I'm craving? The soup? A little perspective. They can't serve that. Fresh, clear, well-seasoned perspective. Yes, you're very clever. We get it. You fucking weirdo. This is a restaurant. Stop playing weird mind games, you fucking idiot. I've met people like this, though, unfortunately. Fair. Oh, of course. Of course people like this exist. Just mm -hmm. stop. Stop doing that. Yeah. Stop existing. <laughs> <laughs> um, your dinner selection? Tell your chef to hit me with his best shot. You know, you could have said that earlier. Don't be mean to the wait staff. And also, yeah, <laughs> as if the waiter has anything to do with it. So weird how people do that. I will have whatever he is having. Infuriating, actually, a lot of the time. Very much, yeah. I have absolutely had to hold myself back from, like, slapping customers before. Oh, yeah. For sure. Slapping at best. <laughs> we are in a cage. I'm the one in a cage. You are free. Free as you imagine me to be. Yeah, he's a figment of your imagination. How is he free? I'm sick of pretending. Rat for my father, I pretend to be a human through Linguini. I pretend you exist, so I have someone to talk to. Okay, we're getting some recognition. I know who I am! Why do I need to pretend? There you go. Yes. Um, but you don't, Remy. You never did. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's one of the best versions of the the answers are inside of you kind yeah. of moments I've ever seen. I like that. <laughs> No. <laughs> what the fuck? Damn, damn. Oh, damn. Okay, yeah. that's a plan for sure. Family can help a bit after all. Indeed. I love you guys. Where are you going? Back to the restaurant. I mean, they may not understand him, but they still want him to, you know, live and be free. Why do you care? Because I'm a cook. I like that. Yeah, I'm a cook. Mm -hmm. That's who he is. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Your recipe. I didn't write it down. Yeah, oh. You didn't even remember the movements or anything. Oh, I thought he might just remember some of it. Can we serve them something I didn't yeah. invent? This is what they're ordering. Tell them we're all out. We cannot be allowed. We just opened. Tell us what you did. I don't know. Oh, well. Yep. This is very concerning. Ah! Tell them the chef has had a mental breakdown on day one. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, go for it, Remy. Go hard. Hey, go talking hard, about son. What to do right now. <laughs> oh, fuck. Don't touch him. Huge Hail Mary. <laughs> yeah, very much. Thanks for coming back, little chef. I know this sounds insane, but the truth sounds insane sometimes. That's actually true. Truth is stranger than fiction. It can be. I have no talent at all. He's the one behind these recipes. He's the cook. The one true chef. Yes. <laughs> He's been hiding under my toque, controlling my actions. Puppet style. I know it's a hard thing to believe, but hey, you believed I could cook, right? Yeah. They did. <laughs> Believing this nonce can <laughs> cook is a biggest stretch. <laughs> we can be the greatest restaurant in Paris, and this rat can lead us there. You with me? For the next one year of his lifespan. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Those you don't know how long rats live. No, I don't. I'm Not that long. I'm definitely guessing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Lost the faith. He ain't doing it. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's definitely an out there concept, but I do like that they put in these moments of realism where it's like, oh, no, yeah. of course they wouldn't agree to work with a rat. For sure, <laughs> for sure. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's tough. Like, I, I get it, because, like, half of what she liked about him wasn't true. And don't yeah. get me wrong, not the only things. <laughs> no, for sure. But some of those things were essentially just Remy. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so... She was just cooking with Remy all along. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. shit. <laughs> oh, bud. And there's literally no one here. I guess you two. You're going to make one good soup. Yeah, he can cook. He can cook for one person. Yeah. <laughs> the only person that matters. Just close down the rest <laughs> of the restaurant. Kick them all <laughs> out. Kick them all out, of course, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, don't, don't drive emotional like that. Yeah, don't drive in distress. Yeah. <laughs> in any context. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Love that coming back. Anyone can cook. Yeah, turn around. There you go. At least get out of these nice people's way. 
Dad. Hey, man. Come to show some support. Oh, you have no idea. I don't know what to say. I was wrong about your friend. I actually, I do have a pretty good idea. He's going to get the rats to help. That was an expression, but okay, yeah. <laughs> You're going to run a rat kitchen. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't want you to think I'm choosing this over family. This really means that much to you? Yeah. Yeah. You only got killed multiple times for it. Like, yeah. come on. <laughs> yeah. Something that you risk your life for is definitely something you care about. But we are family. Not that you have to risk your life for, for things you care about. Just, mm. you know. Yeah. Done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> he just quietly back. Oh, I was going to say quietly, but no, he ran. Oh. <laughs> he straight ran. <laughs> Stop that health inspector! Now the team! Go, go! Remy, are you going to teach everyone to how to wash their hands and shit? The rest of them might be clean, but they're still running on the ground. <laughs> this poor guy. Oh. <laughs> Probably thinks he's about to die. <laughs> he's just like, quick, where can I find the Pied Piper? Yeah. And yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Efficient. Team five, grill. Team six, sausage. Well, yeah, I mean, with whole teams of rats on every station. Mm -hmm. Sure. That's smaller, but it's technically, you know, more hands. It is. <laughs> yeah. Roll. With everyone on the job. We need someone to wait tables. Yeah. Yeah. Linguini finally finds his true calling. Oh, wow. And yes, with the skates, sure. I love sense. the idea that he's just super uncoordinated on his feet. <laughs> I know, I was just thinking with that. With the momentum of the skates, his floppiness actually works to his advantage. Yeah. God damn, he's a great waiter. He is. Well, an efficient waiter at the very least. Mm -hmm. Make sure that steak is nice and tenderized. <laughs> <laughs> Beat that meat. Red raccoon! <laughs> the dude with the butter skating in the yeah. pan. Composed to sound like you were painting a picture. Still, it's hard to direct a kitchen of two or three chefs. Yep. Directing a kitchen of like a hundred chefs? Fuck. No, dude, Jesus dickhead. Christ alive, Emil. <laughs> Oh, God. Go ahead, wait! Yeah, if you didn't know that they'd been washed. Yes. Pretty gross. You came back. I... Don't. Just tell me what the rat wants to cook. <laughs> Once again, they're all clean now. Maybe tell her that. Yeah. Ratatouille? It's a peasant dish. Are you sure you want to serve this to Ego? Most definitely. Oh, yes. It's the title of the movie. Yeah. You have to. <laughs> oh, oh, that poor man. Don't ask questions. Yeah. What are you making ratatouille? Uh, no. How would you prepare it? I see. Yes, excellent. Finally, the real chefs working together. I know. <laughs> It's a lot chunkier from what I've seen. Fair enough. In a normal, average, Look, everyday I presentation. Never had ratatouille. Me either. Don't it's think no I idea. Will. Fair enough. But even that. Oh, it's a peasant dish. Yeah. You know how much like fine dining shit or shit that just gets into expensive restaurants originates as peasant food? Not just food. Mm, yeah. Or oh, anything. Almost. Yeah. Not all, but a really large amount of creative endeavors of any kind. Yeah. Paintings, music, food, I don't care. Mm. Comes from poor places. It gets really popular and then it gets adopted by wealthier and wealthier people till it gets to the point where you can spend fucking 50 or 100 or $500 on one pizza. Yeah. This is literally um, like how gentrification works. Yeah, it happens in like artistic areas. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, bruschetta, uh, even frog legs and snails. It's like, Poor people yes, food. they put those together because there was nothing else to eat. Yes, <laughs> that was what was available. Exactly. And then it started becoming like fancy Hot cuisine. cuisine. Now they serve yes. it up for like freaking, what, 50 bucks a plate or something. Bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. Hey. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Fully takes him back. Well, I guess we can confirm now that he wasn't a vampire at this point. No, he's in daylight. <laughs> I was going to say, really. not a vampire now, but I guess he could have become one at a certain point. Yeah. He just still loves food somehow. There's a theory mm. that that woman, his mom, mm. is the old lady from the beginning of the movie that oh, Remy okay. learned to cook from his mother. Oh. That's how he was able to make it exactly the way she used to make it. That is a very interesting thought. Right? Yeah. Ha, he's loving it. <laughs> so shit. <laughs> uh, son of a bitch. Oh, he hates it. <laughs> he loves it. Who cooks the ratatouille? <laughs> 
the rats. <laughs> you were lucky that it wasn't anybody else who did that? Yeah. Can't remember the last time I give my compliments to the chef. Well, you know, the color is back in his face. I know. <laughs> It brought life back to this man. Resurrected him. Oh my god. He was a vampire yeah, for a while, yeah. but now he's not because the food was so good. We found the cure. Thanks, but I'm just your waiter tonight. Yeah. Then who do I thank? Uh, Don't tell him about Remy, I swear to God. Excuse me a minute. Uh, well, kind of with the whole theme of the movie. It has to be, I know. Getting to be himself fully uh, and openly. Yeah. But this guy? You must be the chef. If you wish to meet the chef. No. You will have to wait until all the other customers have gone. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So be it. <laughs> the color starts to drain away again. <laughs> yes. As his cynicism sets back in. Yeah. But wow, he really wants to wait. Oh, yeah. God damn, dude. So you actually enjoyed that food. I mean, he's had like two bottles of wine, too. Yeah. Uh, that would help. Yeah. <laughs> Got shit faced. <laughs> he's just wasted. <laughs> At first. Oh, he's so little. Ego thinks it's a joke. As Linguini explains, Ego's smile disappears. <laughs> yeah. Very calm. Still somewhat concerning, but um, once you see how it all goes down. When the story is done, Ego stands, thanks us for the Back. meal, and leaves. I'm guessing he's going to take a little while to figure out his position. He's yeah. got to write an epic review. <laughs> got to process this. <laughs> his review appears. The work of a critic is easy. Risk very little, yet enjoy a position over those who offer up their selves to our judgment. We know about that, huh? <laughs> Living large over here, right? Oh, yeah. Real large. The bitter truth we critics must face. The average piece of junk is more meaningful than our criticism. Yeah. Interesting. But there are times when a critic risks something in the discovery and defense of the new. That's very true. Mm -hmm. Last night, I experienced an extraordinary meal from unexpected Source. Yeah, I love how they went about this. To say that challenge my preconceptions about fine cooking is a gross understatement. He made a new home and his dad and brother can visit. Yeah, I love that. He's going with neither because he's somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Only now do I understand. Not everyone can become a great artist. Mm -hmm. But a great artist come from anywhere. Pretty much. Okay, it, it, it could mean both things, but I hear your point. Yeah. Difficult to imagine more humble origins of the genius now cooking at Gusto's. That's what I mean by I just love how they wrap this up. Who is the finest chef in France? High praise. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I was kind of expecting it. But... Yeah, for sure. But yeah, as far-fetched as the idea is, the message is so good that yeah. it kind of makes up for all the ridiculousness. Indeed. But the only thing predictable about life is its unpredictability. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Had to let Skinner and the health inspector loose, ratted us out. Yeah. So I was talking about that uh, dash of real Indeed. The restaurant was closed. And they got five stars and had to close down anyway. Yeah. Rough. Ego lost his job, but he's doing very well as a small business investor. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. Guess whose business he's investing in. Uh-huh. So he stopped being a critic? Uh, yeah. Oh, there you go. Ruined his reputation. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. He put himself out there and obviously people... Kind of suck. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you've never been there or met the rat... Yeah, for sure. It'd be no. hard to comprehend, you mm. know? <laughs> Can I interest you in a dessert? Surprise me! Uh, whatever you want, buddy. Oh, yeah. He trusts him. <laughs> nice. I do like those chefs who, that concept of you go to the restaurant and you're just like, whatever you're making, man. Yeah, pretty much. There's only so many of them, but it's cool. Mm -hmm. oh, and I good. like how they have the rat portion of yeah. the restaurant. Yeah, that yeah. is nice. Segregation. Yeah. <laughs> no, it makes sense. They're tiny. They could get squished. How do the rats pay? Uh, they eat free. <laughs> they don't eat that much. They don't eat that much. That would help. But I love this idea. They made yeah. something new. That was a marriage of the two sides of the story. Absolutely. It's really good. To be real, I would say that this is the reality of where most great art comes from. Yeah. And new food or just food in general is a form of art because it's oh, creative. Absolutely. It's self-expression. And so often... The greatest art is just a marriage of two things that already existed and had some fantastic cross application. I, I heard the term that like the epitome of art is essentially what you are versus what you want to be. Yeah, and that yeah, yeah. intersection of that. And you yeah. see that with like that, what was it again? Necessity breeds innovation. 
Um, necessity is the mother of invention. That's the one. Yeah. yeah. Where it's like, yeah, you want to make a thing, yeah. but you only have these tools. So that kind of narrows you down and yeah. then you create something out of that. And honestly, I've spent most of my life having to do that in certain situations because it's like, I just don't have the necessary things. So mm. I'm going to jerry-rig this shit and see how we go. Yeah. I definitely see why people consider this to be one of Pixar's best movies. I enjoy the story a lot. Mm. I think the emotional heart of the story is told really well. In fact, I would say that the emotional heart of the story is told so well that exactly like you were saying before, yeah. it becomes a masterclass in getting past the ridiculous. Yeah, pretty much. Because like some of the actual... Plot points, the yeah. premise of this is more ridiculous than a multitude of other animated yeah. films that are also ridiculous, but it somehow carried it off even better yeah. by being so heartfelt. Now, I'm fairly certain the next movie we're doing is our member's choice. Mm -hmm. the movie will be Tarzan, the 1999 animated classic that's literally been since the cinemas since I saw that. So yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually looking forward to seeing it again. Yeah, I had it on DVD, so I watched it quite a few more times after that. But uh, assuming we get to that, until then, you've been with Sam, Steph, and the, the Movie, movie Buds. Buds.